Hello again, welcome to today's attempt of a step door puzzle. On this day in 1967, the comedian Tim Vine was born, one of my favourite comedians. Um, from 2004 to 2014, he apparently held the Guinness World Record for the most jokes told in an hour. The jokes had to get a laugh in order to count, and he set a new world record with 499 jokes in an hour. So he's uh, really good at like one-liners, really fast puns which is just my sort of humour, usually. And as my starting guess is, I'm going to be using some words from some of his jokes. My delivery will not be as good as his, of course. But I'm going to start with, I've decided to sell my hula. Well, it was just collecting dust. So we will go with dust. Oh, and we've got an S. If I got four greys, I was going to say, you know, somebody actually complimented me on my driving today. They left a little note on the windscreen. It said, parking fine. So that was nice. But I'm not going to go for fine, because I've got the S, so I just need to use three new letters rather than four new letters. So, let's try a couple of vowels. Oh, wow, we've still, we've got the S in the right place, but that's the only letter we've got still. So we need a different vowel. Oh, I nearly tried ship, but it turns out it looks like the P is going to be second rather than last. It's not. It's a K. There we go. A little bit of a hard mode trap there, but not too bad. Right. I'm so lazy, I've got a smoke alarm with a snooze button. So in honour of that, we're going to go for smoke. And again, if I got five braids, I was going to say, so I went to buy a watch, and the man in the shop said, analogue? And I said, no, just a watch. Um, right, what are we going to do with this? Oh, how about actor? Wow, that was exactly like the first one. We've tried a bunch of new letters and we've still only got one correct. Right, owing to that, I'm going to try four more new letters. Wow, we still haven't got this O in the right place. So would I like it if would was the correct answer? This is the only remaining vowel. So if there isn't a U, there's probably a Y. But there is a U and it is would, which is very nice. I was stealing things in the supermarket today while balanced on the shoulders of vampires. I was charged with shoplifting on three counts. So we'll use counts. Wow. Now that is a really good starting word, isn't it? We've got a chance of a two here. Could be pounce or bouncy, but I'm going to split the difference and just go for bounce. That is a two. Very nice. I'm glad I chose that joke to use my starting word from. Right. I've just been on a once-in-a-lifetime holiday. I'll tell you what, never again. So we will end with holiday. Oh, that's not worked as well as I hoped. No A or I. So at least we've got the O, but it looks like we're going to need to use the E. We could, I suppose, use the U as well. Let's try them both. Let's hope I don't get into trouble. Oh, wow! Three letters only still, and none of them is in the right place. Right, so what are we going to do with this then? The O isn't second or third, so probably the E is going to be second or third, because we're going to need a vowel somewhere towards the start of the word, aren't we? We could use a duplicated E, of course, or a duplicated O. That's what makes it a little bit more tricky. Or the O could be first. Is that likely? off something or oneself oneself would be a great guess except the L can't be sixth and I'm not sure I can think of something similar that is a possibility so I'm going to rule out the O being first at least for now we could have three consonants to start with and maybe just put the O in fourth oh I don't know what to try because this is really not the easiest. We've got the O, L and E. They're all fairly common letters, but the ending is not E, D, E, R, E, S, T. I suppose it could be double E, double S. Um, no, if it's E, double S, then it has to start with an O, doesn't it? It's not an I, N, G ending. Um... I might have to go for oneself, 
just to get some more information. Let's let's do it. I don't think I'm gonna get this word on this guess. We do have a duplicated E. And it's not third either. So there's consonants in second and third, which means that it's gonna start with a vowel, which has to be the E now. So actually that was a really helpful guess. Um I say that, but I still don't know what this word is. It's gonna be an EL ending, I suspect, because we've got to use a second E and we're really restricted about where it could be. The O is probably there, so it's gotta be that pattern, I think. Ennoble? No, because we've ruled out the B and I don't even know if that's a word anyway. Um What is this word? The E, we, we have to use a second E. If it's not first, then it's got to be fourth. And then we're really running out of places for the O. Okay, so I, I'm pretty confident it has to be an N start. I suppose the only other option is that the L goes in there. But then what would that last letter be? Oh, the E and the O are the other way round, because it's just envelop, isn't it? Should have got that a tiny bit quicker, but I think that's a really difficult one. L-O-P is really not a very common ending to a word. And the P and the V are quite uncommon letters as well. So I'm not going to beat myself up about not getting that a little bit quicker. I think 5424 is a pretty good performance today. Not my best, but definitely not my worst. And I didn't have to say, I was in the army once and the sergeant said to me, what does surrender mean? And I said, I give up. I didn't have to say I give up because I got through all of the words. So that is the Steptal Puzzle. Thank you for watching and bye for now.